Welcome everyone, Christine here on Serious Gaming with the discussion about Total Biscuit quitting social media and just my thoughts on that particular subject. Well, it's not surprising that this has happened. It's Total Biscuit, ever since uh, he's moved back to the US and he's quit doing the mailbox, which was a series he did on his channel where people would send him questions via email and he would answer them, some of them. Uh, ever since then, he's and as he's gotten more and more popular, and especially after the cancer hit him, he's grown more distant from the people watching his videos. First, he um, disabled YouTube comments on his videos. Uh, then he made it very clear that he doesn't like social media. Uh, and then he stopped being involved with the subreddit, the cynical Brit subreddit. So he's grown more and more distance and distant, and he's made it very clear that he's not one of the people that can handle um, that kind of a situation the fame he's gotten very well and not a lot of people would actually you know a lot of stars use people to manage their social media accounts a lot of um, <clears throat> you know a lot of people that are popular you know, find it very difficult and one of the things that actually got me thinking was when he said in his SoundCloud where he was talking about quitting social media he said that a lot of the people, a lot of his friends, you know, fellow YouTubers, um, he said uh, a lot of them are also getting treatment because of this issue, because it's of how difficult it is to cope with a lot of people following your every, you know, action, your every word on social media, your every video. You know, having thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people following you and giving comments, giving feedback. And a lot of not nasty things are said, you know, that, that comes with the job, so to speak. There's going to be a lot of nasty comments given by people. Y you know, even people that follow you for a long period of time will occasionally drop a very <laughs> mean and nasty comment that will just make your blood boil. I recently had that uh, particular situation happen to me with uh, the video where I slammed Dark Dungeon for being grindy game. And someone came along and said, well, you like the Inquisition and in MGS5 so you're just full of crap actually it was a bit longer than that and actually a far more meaner than that but that was kind of the gist of, of that you know not to say the fact that I like those games MGS5 and Inquisition in spite of them being grindy not because of them being grindy and DD is just Darkest Dungeon is far more grindy than those but you know that's just an example right there it's difficult. You know, you make your views clear, you're trying to be reasonable, then, but then some idiot comes around and throws bullshit like that in your face. It can be difficult, can be annoying uh, to deal with that, and that <laughs> can ruin your day. Um, I've personally never gotten over the fact that when I started a few months after I created this channel, someone came along in one of my playthrough videos, and I was playing Mass Effect 2 uh, in 2012, uh, you know, in preparation for Mass Effect 3, I was playing that, or, well, I had played it when it originally came out, but I was doing a playthrough on the channel, and someone came along because of a decision I had made in the game and basically called me a psychopath. Now, you might think, oh, it's just an online comment, it's no big deal, just move past it. Hey, it's not so easy, really, you know, it's not so easy to take criticism. Imagine taking dealing with that on a daily basis and imagine dealing with a lot of nasty comments. Initially, you're not prepared, and even when you're prepared, there's still some comments that really get to you, as happened recently to me, and... You know, as was the case with Total Biscuit. And it's not just one individual comment, it's dozens, hundreds of comments, thousands of comments, depending on how big you are. And it's very damn fucking difficult uh, to deal with that for quite a few people. It's annoying, it's frustrating, it's depressing, it's mentally exhausting. And that's really the case for Total Biscuit. I am disappointed in this, but I totally understand his, uh, his reasoning on the, the subject matter. I personally am not too big of a fan of social media in the first place, but you know, a lot of people are using it and you're either encouraged or forced to as a result of the contract you sign with uh, your network on YouTube that most, the vast majority of YouTubers are part of, you know, or at least those of us that earn a living from this, you're encouraged or forced to make social media and be active on social media and it's actually kind of expected that you will be that you'll gonna, you're gonna interact with your fans you're gonna interact with the people that are following you that's really the only way to grow and man maintain a, co a stable user base obviously once you've grown big enough then you may not care about that 
But when you're growing, it's something that you will have to do and can be very annoying. It can be very depressing and can weigh you down considerably. You might just say, oh, it's trolls, right? Yeah, not so easy, uh, not so easy. And, you know, as much as I dislike social media, social media, you know, having a Twitter account and mainly using that to interact with people that has a lot of negatives in itself. But at least on social media, you can block people, you know, on Twitter, you can Honest, honest to God, block someone, right? Whereas on YouTube, outside of disabling comments for all your, all, all, all of your video, which you know, videos, which you know, obviously has a very negative impact uh, on you, has a negative impact on your views, on your searchability, how is it easy it is for people to find your videos. Obviously, um, you know, outside of doing that, then you can't really block someone. And hell, you can't really remove their comments either from your from a video. You know, someone leaves a nasty comment, or someone leaves a very stupid comment, or something that annoys you, and you want to remove that, right? Not ban someone, but just remove that. Well, that comment will still stay because of the bullshit integration on YouTube. So social media offers, you know, better t alternative because of the tools there in terms of controlling some or dealing with some of the very nasty comments or whereas the comment system on YouTube and the tools you have in place to deal with that are just complete crap. Try banning someone from YouTube, right? From your channel. You might say, well, you can hide their comments, but that's not really a ban. They'll still be able to leave comments even if you don't see said comments and people will still be able to post on said comments, even if you've hidden them yourself, people will still be able to post it and you will be able to see that in your notifications, which makes the whole damn thing very annoying. Now, this is kind of the problem with YouTube uh, and or rather Google and the way they handle YouTube. It's always one step forward and one step backwards. They're not two steps backwards, but yeah, one step forward, one step backwards in terms of the things they do on YouTube. They make improvements and then they make moronic decisions. The integration of Google Plus with YouTube, that's, that wasn't a wise decision. They've kind of gone back on that, but damage has been done and we've been dealing with it for a while now. Then there's the whole moronic crap with them remo removing content ID protections that people who were part of networks had enjoyed for a long time and all the problems that caused, not just for YouTubers, but game developers, right? And that's that's another annoyance uh, to deal with. There's quite a few annoyances. Then there's the broken nature of the content ID system, the broken nature of the comment system, the broken nature of, <clears throat> you know, all the bugs and glitches. Hell, they've actually made it worse in terms of bugs and glitches in the comment system. So I don't blame DB one damn bit. Though as someone who's followed him for years and someone who was inspired by him and someone who learned a great deal from watching his mailbox videos in particular, I can't help but be uh, disappointed by this, but you know, he's got priorities. He's got terminal cancer with a life expectancy, an average life expectancy of two to three years. So I can't, so no, if anyone's blaming him for this, they're quite frankly an idiot. But you know, obviously you can, uh, you can be disappointed. And TB's made it clear that he doesn't handle that very well. He has, he doesn't handle the criticism or social media uh, very well. He likes to fight with people. He likes to get engaged uh, in conflicts and arguments with people. And now he's trying to step away. Well, I wish him success in that. It's not so easy uh, being able to step away from either a forum or the internet or Twitter or Facebook. He's basically given his account to his, P uh, his PR guy, the guy who handles getting all of the game codes, the review codes uh, for him. So yeah, wish him luck on that subject, and I hope he recovers from his illness. <laughs> right. Anyway, Questine here on Serious Gaming signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And one final point actually to make on this subject, and this is something that I, I got to get off my chest. As a viewer, and as someone who watches a lot of people as well, I hold this opinion of myself when I watch other people, you are not entitled to anything except, you know, someone thanking you for watching their videos, right? Beyond that, you are not entitled to anything. You're certainly not entitled to being a jackass to the people that you watch and leaving all the mean comments or 
slamming the people that you watch. There's a lot of assholes out there. There's a lot of assholes who will, aff will attack you for things that you have absolutely no control over. You know, for instance, for me personally, they a lot of people have slammed me and uh, insulted me just for the fact that I have uh, an Eastern European accent, a Romanian accent. That's not something I can control. There's a lot of criticism that I take from people that watch me and, you know, I take it to heart. But that's, that's really fucking scummy. So just a final point that I had to make that one. I had to get it off my chest because there's a lot of entitled, I, I, hate, I hate to use that word, but there's a lot of twats out there. And I just wanted to say this. Cosine here on Serious Gaming, signing out.